my open. You know, there's something about being an American, a sense of pride, confidence, the wind always at your back, even when you're in a foreign country. Kind of like a guardian angel watching over you or the cavalry riding in to protect you. At least, that's the narrative I grew up with. But this past week, President Obama stumbled off script, contradicting even his own narrative to the point where, as an American, you have to wonder not can this man be trusted, more than half the country already doesn't trust him, but can you, as an American, be protected? It's a question that every parent of a son or daughter in the military asks every day. This week, the president said for the first time he did everything possible to help Americans in Benghazi. We were focused on making sure that we did everything we can, could to protect them. In the aftermath, what became clear was that the security was lax. What did you do, Mr. President, to protect them? We know you were in the White House. We know the Joint Chiefs were with you. The Defense Secretary Panetta says he told you it was terrorism. You don't send F-16s. You don't send troops or any of the military companies prepared to deal with emergencies. And here's the kicker. The fight went on for hours and hours, and you still didn't send help. So don't lie to me and tell me you did everything you could. So how about you just tell me what you did? But then again, how much can you say if you did nothing? And you still can't come clean on whether or not it was terrorism. You have a mix of folks who are just troublemakers. You have folks who have an ideological agenda. Right. You have some who are affiliated with terrorist organizations. You have some that are not. I'll bet if you looked at our military, you'd find a few troublemakers and a few with an ideological agenda, too. It doesn't mean that they're not part of a uni unified military organization. Why can't you just answer the question, was it terrorism and when did you know it? For you, one day it is, one day it isn't. In the words of Jay-Z, one day you're here, one day you're there. All your commanders called it terrorism, yet you send Susan Rice out five days later to talk about a video. Two weeks later, you're apologizing for the video at the UN. A crude and disgusting video sparked outrage throughout the Muslim world. Weeks later, you're on The View talking about, you guessed it, the video. You can't have it both ways. But you're going to make it right. We've got to make sure that not only have we implemented all the reforms that were recommended okay. by the independent agency, but I, we also have to make sure that we understand our folks out there are in a hazardous, dangerous situation. Mr. President, of course it was hazardous and dangerous. They were even getting danger pay. The hypocrisy? When Hillary went to Benghazi, an aircraft carrier was there to protect her. And anyone accountable? What's that? You're looking to implement reforms? They're already there. It's just that you don't follow them. And an independent agency, you say? Since when? Since when does the accused appoint her own judge, who then doesn't investigate or even question her? And by the way, after the last attack on our embassies in Kenya and Tanzania, the Secretary of State was to, quote, take a personal and active role in ensuring the security of U.S. diplomatic personnel abroad. Might your Secretary of State have been in dereliction of her duty? According to the bipartisan committee, she was aware of the dangers in Benghazi, especially those to her friend, Ambassador Stevens. And yet additional security requests continued to be denied. And what's that? Fox News is stoking the issue? It's a Republican phony scandal? Mr. President, there's nothing phony about this. You want us to believe you. You say you are a man of your word. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. Mr. President, with all due respect, no, you don't. It turns out the only transparency in your administration is how clearly you subvert the truth for your own political gain. Like I said, 
There's something about being an American, a sense of pride, a sense of security. It's time we got back to that narrative. 2016 can't come soon enough.